Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Canada Immigration News. Today we talk about the how to maximize your Express Entry CRS score. If you are interested in this topic, please watch till the end of this video for the latest updates. Please like this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and don't forget to hit that notification bell icon. Let's start the topic. How to maximize your Express Entry CRS score if you're aged 30 or over. Age is an important factor in immigration through Express Entry and certain applicants are penalized for their age. Here are several strategies one can employ to maximize their Express Entry CRS score as an applicant over 30 years old. Published by Vimal Sivakumar Express Entry is Canada's largest source of immigration. When applicants apply to immigrate to this country through Express Entry, eligible Express Entry applicants are scored through a point allocation grid called the Comprehensive Ranking System CRS. Introduction to Express Entry in the CRS The CRS is a points grid that Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada IRCC, uses to rank Canadian immigration hopefuls that apply through any of the three programs contained within the Express Entry System Application Management System, the Canadian Experience Class CEC, the Federal Skilled Workers Program FSWP, and the Federal Skilled Trades Program FSTP. The CRS starts by assessing what the Canadian government refers to as core human capital factors, which include the following characteristics age, education, first language ability English or French, second language ability English or French, and Canadian work experience. For these purposes, we will be focusing on the first item in the above list, age. Canada's CRS system provides the most age points to express entry applicants aged 20 to 29, 100. If you are 30 or older, the points you receive in the age category will progressively decrease every year, 95 points for an applicant aged 30. 90 points for a 31-year-old applicant and so forth. Applicants aged 45 or older receive zero points in the age category under the CRS. Thankfully, simply being 30 or over does not mean an applicant's express entry hopes are gone with the wind. There are many ways prospective express entry applicants can maximize their CRS score if they are applying at or after age 30. Strategy 1. Getting a Provincial Nomination Through a Provincial Nominee Program PNP. One way for applicants to increase their CRS score is by receiving a nomination through any of Canada's enhanced provincial nominee program streams that are tied to express entry. In fact, a provincial nomination through a PNP is the single best way to maximize a CRS score and receive an invitation to apply for Canadian permanent residence because receiving a nomination before applying through express entry can earn an applicant an extra 600 points. PNPs exist in all Canadian provinces and territories, excluding Quebec and Nunavut, as a tool for each individual region to nominate permanent residence candidates who are interested in settling in a particular area within Canada. Designed to spread the benefits of immigration across Canada, especially because Canadian immigration has historically been disproportionate to Ontario, British Columbia, and Quebec, there are currently over 80 countrywide PNP streams available for prospective Canadian immigrants across Canada's 11 PNPs. 
If an express entry hopeful applies to a PNP and receives an invitation to apply, then applies and receives a provincial nominee certificate, they can proceed to upload their certificate to their express entry profile and receive the 600 available CRS points. Again, this will practically guarantee they receive an invitation to apply for permanent residence in Canada. Strategy 2. Getting a job offer Another way that an applicant can maximize their CRS score is by applying through express entry while holding a valid job offer that is in writing and details all job requirements, including pay, duties, and employment conditions. In fact, this strategy is one of the best ways to boost an applicant's CRS score because candidates with a valid offer of employment can obtain either 50 or 200 additional CRS points depending on the position. Strategy 3. Evaluating work experience Work experience can help improve an applicant's CRS score in several different ways. Firstly, Simply obtaining additional work experience can aid an applicant in improving their score. Moreover, doing a better job of articulating current work experience can do much of the same to help applicants. Strategy 4. Improving language ability Language ability is another crucial element of CRS scores that falls under the category of core human capital factors. As mentioned above, language is a larger category is split into first language ability and second language ability to test an applicant's proficiency in English and French. This component of an applicant's CRS score can add up to a significant number of points, making it an essential part of any express entry application language broken down into proficiency with writing reading speaking and listening can earn a single applicant between 128 and 136 points depending on spousal partner status but more on that later additionally the language category is valuable for maximizing CRS scores because of its ability to count for points across multiple sections. More specifically, language as an individual element of the CRS can count for points within the following four larger categories, human capital factors, spousal factors, if applicable, skills transferability and additional factors. Furthermore, language can also be combined with other factors such as education to further improve an applicant's CRS score. Example 1. An applicant with a post-secondary program credential of one or more years plus a first language Canadian language benchmark CLB, 7 in one or more abilities, in one ability at CLB 9, can earn 13 CRS points. Example 2. An applicant with two or more post-secondary program credentials, one at least three years long, plus CLB 9 or more in all first language abilities can earn 50 CRS points. Strategy 5. Strengthening educational credentials education, another element of core human capital factors, can count for between 200 and 250 CRS score points depending on where the applicant received their credential inside Canada or outside of Canada. Therefore, earning additional credentials such as another degree or obtaining an Educational Credential Assessment ECA, for an existing degree can help applicants maximize their express entry CRS score. Strategy 6. Considering using spouse, partner as the principal applicant, if applicable. In certain cases, 
express entry applicants may find that their spouse or common law partner has a better CRS score. In situations such as this, it may be advisable to consider swapping the principal applicant and the dependent spouse or common law partner. We will try to give you latest information related to Canadian immigration. If you have not subscribed, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to click on notifications, bell icon. See you later in the next new immigration video. Thank you.